what do they say? They say like uh, it's you're, you're. He's a gentleman. Yeah, he's a gentleman. That yeah. that seems like a violation. It feels like he's making you. He's embarrassing you. These types of things. So like, can you just kind of speak to just the whole manifestation thing? Well, we can yield to God, or we can not yield to God. Um, there is some choice in the matter. Um, there is an unholy spirit. There is an enemy. And when he takes a hold of people, I watch. I live in Africa. I've been in Asia for years. And I watch what, what the enemy, what the dark force, the dark spirit does to people. And he will shake them around. And he will cause them to convulse and all kinds of of counterfeit things he's a spirit too when spirit touches human flesh human flesh reacts so when unholy spirit a demonic spirit touches human flesh it reacts you can watch it anywhere anyone who lives anywhere where they see um, demons coming and manifesting can watch him do it it's anybody they don't need to even know God to watch it it's just clear people are taken over and and moved around well Holy Spirit is a spirit he's holy he's God and he will do what he likes with anyone he likes and the more yielded we are the more he'll take over and the more he'll he'll show himself God and so we can either yield to him or we can resist him and sometimes he does things that are totally out of our control. If he's God, he's the third person of the Trinity, why would we not yield ourselves to him? I want full possession. I don't care what it looks like. I want to be fully possessed by God. I want to be a resting place for him. So it's, if he wants a resting place, he wants a habitation, let it be us. Who cares what it looks like? It can look quiet, it can look violent. I've watched God take people and flip them three, four rows back, um, doing back flip flips they can't do. I watched the most timid girl, um, Jose, Pastor Jose's wife, uh, Linda. She's this little tiny, petite little woman and she was totally shy and freaked out. She would never speak in front of a crowd. And we were having this, um, advance for our leaders and she was there and she's always sitting in the corner and she was quiet and and very kind of afraid of everything and I watched Holy Spirit just slam down on her and she started rolling like a burning log she just started rolling holy roller I mean in this century her she goes just rolling up and back and up and back and she was screaming and rolling and it was so powerful and nobody wanted to stop her even though it looked so bizarre we were like God's doing something he's on her well after that powerful manifestation she started speaking all over she started preaching the gospel she was fearless absolutely fearless and they took in all these street children and adopted them as their own kids and the power and glory just flowed through her so I've seen Holy Spirit do amazing things.